In today's video, I threw on a sewing make and headed to a safari park. excited to be at this safari park we are in well it says san diego i thought we were a little bit outside of san diego but this is it i am so excited this should be fun so all the tours were booked so we won't be able to do a tour a safari, I'm sorry, which is what I really wanted to do. So it seems like we will just only be able to walk around and look at the animals. Oh, gorillas. Okay, let's go see. We want to see lions. Here's a sign for the lion camp. The safari that we don't get to do today. Oh, it is so, so beautiful. Next time, I'll have to come back one day, hopefully. So I am back from my safari and I had a good time. I really wish that we had been able to go on to the vehicles that would take you around to see the animals. But like I said, maybe we can get a chance to go back and do that another time. So I want to talk about the top that I was wearing when I was out at the safari park. It is a denim top that I made a while ago. It is Simplicity 1589. And I do have a video telling the details about that sewing make, so I will link that below. But what I want to talk about now is my new sewing make, which is a pair of pants, and they are McCall's 7786, and I made view C. I really, really like these pants. So I saw the pattern in the store, and when I looked at view C, I was like, hmm, that might be cute in denim. So that's exactly what I did. I have the fabric here with me. I'm sitting on it. <laughs> so let me get it. So I went to Joanne Fabrics and I picked up this fabric. It has a nice weight to it. It's not thin. It's actually a little bit heavy. But I thought that I would give the pants a try and see how they would turn out. So I'm really happy with the results. So I can't wait for you to see how they look on. So let me tell you about some of the features in this pattern. Okay, so there is a one inch elastic waistband that goes in the back. There are pockets on the side. And then the bottom of the pants leg has splits on the side and then there's also gathering around the bottom of the pants leg so you do have to do a little bit of that and this pattern is rated as easy now some of the changes that i made i did have to reduce the crotch i did reduce it by about an inch and a half and then i also raised the hem on the pattern or not raised it but i cut off the pattern about three inches from the hem line because i could tell that it was going to be a little bit or a lot too long so i did cut the pattern off ahead of time so yes i'm really happy with these little pants i can't wait for you to see them so i'll go ahead and show them to you right now
Okay, so one other thing I want to mention is that for the pants, I did use scraps in the waistband area. I use scraps for the side front and also for the pocket lining, which I usually always put scraps inside of the pocket area just because you can't see them. And I always have a lot of scraps laying around, so I usually grab a bunch of scraps. So I want to show you what this garment looked like before I decided to make a change to it. So I'll show you a picture of that right now. So as you can see, you can see the different colored waistband and you can see the different colors in the side front of the pockets. So I wasn't too crazy about the color of this denim. I think it's okay, but I wanted the denim to be lighter. So I gave the pants a bleach bath, which I've done this before and I will link the video below where I put a garment, it was a jumpsuit, I put it in beach, bleach and water in the tub, which is what I did with this. And I actually soaked the garment or the pants in the bathtub for about two hours on each side. So I put it on one side, flipped it over, and let it sit in the bleach in the water for two hours on each side. So yes, I like the result. They came out lighter than, if you look at my other video, the garment that I made in that video was a little darker with the end result. But I like these pants, I like the color, and I'm really happy. So I will show you a picture of what the pants looked like right after I took them out of the washing machine and I ironed them and I laid them out. So yes, that's that. So now what I want to talk about next is the top that I have on with these pants. Now this top, I actually have it here sitting on it again. This is a top that I just made with no pattern because it was just a simple tube top and believe it or not I wanted a tube top to go under the jumpsuit that I was talking about earlier that I dyed which I'll link the video below and that jumpsuit came down a little bit low and I at the time when I was wearing it in the first video I had on a white tube under it but I thought a denim tube top would be better so I just thought that I would go ahead and make this up and it turns out that they ended up going really well with the pants that I'm talking about in this video, the McCall's pants. So what I did was I just took a piece of scrap denim that I had and I measured it around my bust area and it came out to be a little too short. So it's actually one big tube and then where it came out to be a little bit short. So I wrapped it around my body. So this is all one piece. So I wrapped it around my body and then when it came out to be a little too short, I just took a piece of scrap denim and just added it to the panel here or the side there and just filled it in so that it would at least wrap around my body. And then I just added some elastic around the top. I'm so bad with finishing my seams, but yes. So I just put a quarter inch elastic around the top and that's it and this really doesn't have a front or a back so i have been wearing it on the side with this little piece on the side or you could wear it with the piece on the front and the back it doesn't matter i just really wanted it to go under that one denim jumpsuit and it just so happened to match pretty well with these pants so i got to wear it get a two fur i guess <laughs> so anyway i am really happy with these sewing mags i'm so glad that i just took a chance and decided to go with the denim to see what the garment was going to look like and i like the end result so i hope you like it too and before i go i want to leave you with a love share all right so since I went to the safari and I was looking at some animals, my love share is going to be animal related. So something that I learned that was so interesting. I learned that giraffes only have bottom teeth and then kangaroos. I learned that kangaroos have three bajajays, if you know what I mean. Yep. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.